532 this morning, before the Shawnee Mission School District spends millions on new devices, the superintendent wants to make sure it's worth the investment. Last night, the superintendent launched a study into how devices like iPads improve learning for their students there in Shawnee Mission. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us from district headquarters this morning live with a closer look at the decision made last night about something that was supposed to be on the agenda, Charlie. Right, Taylor and Lindsay, the superintendent here in Shawnee Mission, admits that these devices serve a role in student success. But right before last night's board meeting here at district headquarters, he took the item off the agenda and says he wants to revisit it next year. The plan would have been to spend $9 million to replace iPads around the school district. Beginning in 2015-2016, uh, the school district implemented their device program where students have access to iPads or laptops in school and some older students can even bring those laptops home. But over the next year, the superintendent here in Shawnee Mission actually wants to study uh, data and, and really determine how effective those devices are on students and their learning process. At the end of the day, all of our learning tools, whether it's digital, paper, or anything else imaginable as a tool, are intended to support high quality instruction that leads to every student developing a personalized learning plan that helps them be college and career ready. All right, so this study that the superintendent wanted to start last night should take about one year to complete. So expect this whole proposal to come back to the school board in about February of 2021. Reporting live in Orland Park, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today. Charlie, thank you. You heard that $9 million figure there. The funding for the tech comes from the district's capital overlay budget. That is separate from the operating budget, which pays teacher salaries. The district is still negotiating with teachers on their contracts moving forward.